Hey guys, so far we have completed five different batch scripts. So let's see what is there next. We are going to learn about user input. How do you get a user input? And let's read a user story. It will be very interesting to design this requirement. A gathering is scheduled for this coming Sunday. We wanted to welcome people to the event with their names and display them on a giant screen. So there is a big screen on the event and anybody who is entering, right? So there will be somebody who will be capturing the names. The moment it is captured, it should be displayed on a big screen. Welcome, let's say Rakesh. So Rakesh, welcome to the event, something like that. Okay. So how that can be designed? Write a script which will take first name as a user input and greet them with a predefined sentence. You got it. So that is the requirement. So let's see how this can be designed. This will be pretty interesting. So let's get started. Now, yesterday in the video, we have learned how to install the Notepad++. Right. So today we are going to really use it and design some code. So first of all, what you do? Open a new file, file new. Okay. And then we are going to save it, file, uh, save as. And we will maintain in the same bash script folder. Let's go to the bash script and then let's give it a name. So this is the sixth one, right? So 06 and this is about greet people or uh, let's say, let's keep it as a user input. Okay. User input underscore great. Okay. So let's go, let's, we are going to, uh, I did a mistake. I have to save it as a dot BAT, right? I did not do that. Let me try again. File savers 06 user underscore input underscore uh, greet dot BAT. Yeah. Okay. So the file is ready. Now it will be interesting how we can design it. Okay. So let's start. So the very first thing I will write is echo of fine. And then I have to greet. So I have to first take the user input. Now to take the user input, how, how can we really take the user input? For that, all you have to do is simply say set. Set slash p. p is for prompt. Okay, I'll, I'll teach you how it is working. And then I will say input. You can use any variable. Doesn't matter. I'll say input. And then I will say enter the name. Okay, no codes are required. And these are not case sensitive. So I'll go enter the name. So now the value will be there in the input variable. What I want to do, I want to really see if the if this is working or not. Okay, set echo. Um, let's say I will say um, percentage. I want to fetch that input percentage. And then I want to greet the user. So how would I like to greet? Um, after this, I will say comma space. And I will say we are delighted delighted to have you in at the event is that is that a good good sentence okay so we are delighted to have you at the event okay this is what i want to say and let's see if this one is working there will be so many problems here okay this is not done there are so many things so let's see so let me save it and go to the bash script and run it okay so what is happening enter the name and uh, let me say see it is coming very close to that i want to correct it rakesh rakesh we are delighted to have you at the event so it is printing but there are so many mistakes in this design right so if you see there is no space here name rakesh it is typing and uh, i'm not happy and if i hit on enter it is getting close it should repeat right one more uh, user will come again you have to open it so it is not completely done so what should we do so this is fine so here what i will do i'll give it a space here okay um and sorry not here enter the name after that i'll put a colon mark and give it a space so that space will appear fine i want it to repeat again and again again and again it should clear the screen and repeat so for that what i will do first of all we will use something called um, go to okay there is a there is a command called go to so it will go to the beginning so what i will say go to not here after the pause we will write okay so what what is the, this one go to i am writing go to where it should go to the beginning right um, so you can write any word let's say go to a go to b something like that you can write or simply 
put a proper word let's say go to start i will say and this start here i have to define with a colon whatever you are writing start a b c instead of start you can say a b c so the mat name should match that's all okay so what will happen this will after finishing this this will again go to the top so when it goes to the top it should clear the screen right it should clear the screen and then continue okay so this is let's see if this one is working or not okay let's save if something wrong we will still design it so we have to go in an iterative way small small things we should do and keep on testing rigorous testing we have to do all right so i have saved it let's run it okay so it is asking enter the name so you can see it is asking in a proper way so rakesh rakesh we are delighted to have you at the event okay enter let's say the next person is coming john so it on enter uh, we are delighted to have you at the event very good okay so let's say somebody is called preeti preeti is coming okay preeti we are delighted to have you at the event okay this is small programming so we have achieved what is needed still there are lot many advancement we can do but we'll go step by step okay we don't want to learn everything on the day one slowly we'll go we'll enjoy and learn so thank you guys for watching so you got the codes right how we have written pretty simple ones but interesting one so let's move on to our next topic and learn something new thank you